Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the World Report. I am your World Through OIC and today we're going to continue our daily headlines news coverage. And so without further ado, uh, I will tell you the, the announcements and other things at the end of the video. Let's just jump right into this video. So uh, again, in no specific order. So it looks like yesterday uh, North Korea did launch another uh, ballistic missile. This one uh, went over and splashed down over around Japan. This one was unannounced, which is uh, very, very interesting. Uh, also yesterday, North Korea stopped sending messages over the radio waves. Now, South Korea is a little alarmed behind uh, them stopping this because they have believed that uh, through the past whatever years that they were sending various uh, numbers and then other things, beeps and whatnot, over these radio waves that uh, they just assumed it was some sort of coded messages to North Korean spies in South Korea. Well, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just ceased. So uh, that's got them a little jumpy. Uh, next is the update to the St. Petersburg fire. Uh, after the preliminary investigation, they are now keep in mind this is a Russian investigation from a Russian accident, okay? Uh, or event, I should say. Uh, so Russia is saying that it, the fire broke out due to a safety procedure that was not followed. And they have announced that there was one injury, no death. So uh, take it for what you will. I don't know if you want to believe that, not believe that, whatever, but. Uh, that's their official word for it. Uh, next, uh, hours ago, there was the announcement that three American military bases came under fire. This was done by the resistance inside of Iraq to bases in Iraq. Uh, now, the thing is, is it's kind of like the uh, ordeal with the U.S. and U.K. and Yemen. Rumors went flying everywhere. So, on this... This was confirmed that three bases was attacked. The thing is, is this is extremely new, at least at the time of recording this, and there are rumored to be American soldier casualties with this one. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get an update on that tomorrow. Uh, to further go on to the German protest with all the farmers, truck drivers, and everybody that's involved in that, that is massive. If you have not seen that, uh, somebody did, I think it was a drone shot where they were up high and it was at nighttime you saw the little uh, lights and different things on all the tractors it's massive um well apparently they're on the, the move and the german farmers uh as of a little bit ago have started rolling in to the capital into berlin so uh we'll wait and see what what comes of that that's that's going to be interesting all right here goes another one if we're going to talk about russia so the Russian government came out uh, late last night and announced that uh, the entire Moscow region, the entire area of Moscow there, keep in mind on how big Moscow is, Moscow is a population of over 22 million people in Moscow, okay? They have announced that they will be facing blackouts for a period of no longer then 12 hours at a time, and this will start today, January 14th, and extend all the way to March 31st, pretty much the entire winter. So think about that. Put yourself in that shoes. If the United States government came out and said, insert your town here, you are going to get somewhere up to 12 hours of no electricity per day from now until the last day of march are you prepared for that uh <laughs> that would probably set a lot of people into a massive panic <sighs> okay let's go into the last one for overseas so there is reports coming out of china that are saying that there is this new and you're ready for it disease x is what they're calling it that has emerged now they have got this disease out of hosts and have begun uh looking at it through uh, a lab setting and when they put this into lab mice it has a kill rate 
of guess with me 100% lethality. Okay. Uh, now, here goes the rumor part of it. So, social media now has been flooded with this video. I can't confirm it or anything along those lines. It's awfully odd, but uh, in the video, I was going to show it, but I, I don't know if I'm allowed to and things like that. Um, but these are supposedly, supposedly newly created mobile crematoriums. Basically, they're kind of like uh, like a transit van, if, if you want to picture that, some sort of like a box truck van-ish thing. They have the back doors open. There is this white uh, wall that is built, and it has this little, I don't know, two foot, three foot by three foot door. And uh, they walk around, they show there's two of these vans. Both of the doors are open. They like peer down, and it looks... Like what would be a crematorium? So, uh, is that the official use of it? I have no idea. Are these newly created? I have no idea. I don't know. I, I I've been trying to look, but you know how it is. If you've ever looked trying to get any sort of information from a Chinese, you know, news source or anything like that. So, uh, one thing that I did not put in here that I did want to uh, touch on is that uh, apparently uh, SpaceX is now under. Uh, congressional investigation because of national security because they are helping other countries launch things into space. It's privatized, okay? Uh, everybody knew about it. We helped uh, who was it? Was it, I think it was Japan? We helped somebody uh, maybe it was South Korea but we helped somebody launch their new spy satellite and everybody was cool with that and then all of a sudden uh, now they're under congressional investigation so um odd uh let's see so the u.s directorate of national intelligence say that three times fast uh has moved hamas from a level four all the way up to a level two now if you want to get this in perspective if you've never heard of this place kind of like i didn't until today uh for a level one there is Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea. Those are the four that are in level one. That's the highest you can go. So this military war, whatever you want to call it, thing going on with Hamas, with all the threats that they have made, with all the different things and everything, uh, it took until today for them to move them from a level four to a level two. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, White House, um, the the resident of the Oval Office in the right White House, uh, was quoted saying that the U.S. does not support a Taiwan independence. It's an interesting uh, timing for him to suddenly change tune, because the official U.S. narrative is we are always a China One policy. Uh, unofficially, we send over a whole bunch of military equipment and training and things like that. So that way they can have their independence. So I'm not quite sure, unofficially, officially, whatever, but uh, yeah. Um, let's go with uh, John Kerry uh, plans to, or has announced his plans to step down from his current position as the special envoy for climate <laughs> this spring. So uh, no big loss there. Uh, it's, hopefully they don't fill that position. Hopefully they just uh, let it go vacant and close down all them offices and then there'll be no great loss. And actually, uh, maybe they can take all them salaries and, and everything, pay for the building and travel and whatever, and maybe put that towards national debt. That'd be great. Uh, let's see. So multiple oil tankers in Epping, New York, or I'm sorry, Epping, New Hampshire, caught fire after the reports of a very large explosion. Uh, that one was all over the news. That's an easy one to go find if you don't know anything about that one. Uh, the kind of weird part, so one, there was a lot. This was a pretty big fire. They're saying no injuries, which is a good thing, but they're also saying that there was no evacuation orders, no anything. Just ah, everybody's, it's, a, it's okay. So I, I found that to be kind of odd. Just data point on that one. Uh, let's see, pro-Palestinian protesters came, uh, or started a little protest in D.C., if you didn't see that, 
where they uh, basically forced all non-essential personnel from the White House to be evacuated. And they did that because uh, they basically got a little rowdy. They damaged part of the rioting fence and uh, was throwing different objects, water bottles, rocks, and all that at uh, police and secret service. So they decided to play it safe and get all non-essential personnel out of there. Um, and they were not alone. So there was a lot of protesting in Times Square and in New York City. Uh, and the thing that I do give uh, them a little bit of credit for is uh, they do come up with some catchy chants. <laughs> uh, but uh, out of this one, and I have not heard this one, and I've watched a lot of these, uh, apparently the official chant out of the Times Square, New York City, was, and let me quote this, because this is not my words, this is me quoting theirs, it's right to rebel, U.S., you can go to hell. I don't know who comes up with these, I give it its catchy, it rhymes, but uh, I don't know how you can be an American citizen standing in the capital of a state that has all sorts of significant meaning, and use your right to free speech and, and uh, you know, to petition your government and to assemble and all that. And the reason that you want to do all of that is, you know, to put down the country. Um, and regardless of however you feel, it's not really the country. Uh, it's the leadership or it's an event or it's something like that. Uh, my opinion, but uh, it's it's not the country itself. There is a bunch of uh, God fearing, patriotic, you know, uh, uh, men and women of this country that are good people, and it, what's going on is not their fault. Okay, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. Uh, there you go. Uh, and you know what? Let let's go ahead and round this one out. Let me skip down to the bottom. I want to show you something in case you haven't seen this. I haven't seen by play anything out about this. I'm sure it's coming or it already has, depending on when I release this video tonight. But let me put this up right here. So I found this. And take a look at this picture here. This is a screenshot of a post from NBC. And let me quote this. So, a network of public interest groups and lawmakers nervous about former President Trump's return to power is quietly devising a plan to foil any effort on his part to pressure the U.S. military to carry out his political agenda. Now, if you need to pause it and go back and whatnot to reread that or listen to me read that to you, um, keeping conspiracy theories out and keeping you know the tinfoil and all the other things, I'm sure all of you or most of you have heard the term deep state. Um, I, I we'll see. I just said it out loud, so we'll see if I get a little thing down at the bottom, a little warning label or fact check. Uh, when you, well, we've talked about this, when you devoid somebody an answer, so something happens, somebody questions what it is, you devoid them of that answer. Human nature is you're wanting to come up with an answer. It, it's you want to know. You're curious. You've got to make A and B connect. And if they're not going to tell you, you're going to try your, your hardest to figure it out on your own. And so when you have things going on in the country, that's where deep state comes from. And whether or not it's true, that's not for me to say. Okay, I have my opinion. Uh, but whether or not it's true, when you come out as a news source, and you say the words, a network of public interest groups and the lawmakers? If it's not true, you're feeding the fire. You're making it worse. <laughs> okay? So, uh, this is all bad. And, and the way that I've always said this time and time again, if you want to take emotion out of things, take names out of all of it. Okay? So you're not mo emotionally into this. I don't care if you're for Trump, against Trump, uh, for the current one, against the current one, whatever. Take names out of this and reread that. So there's these people that don't want a certain person to become president again. And so they are trying to come up with a way to foil 
his plans to either get into being president again, or if he does, that he can't control the military. Well, I'm sorry, but whoever becomes the next president is the leader, okay? They, they're, you know, the chief executor of it. They're, they're the commander-in-chief of the military. Uh, so I don't know what rule, law, or anything that you can pass to where you can take that right away. Um, I just don't see it. So uh, that's an interesting one that I found. I think that's a pretty big data point. Uh, I'm not sure it's too much to necessarily worry about because I don't think that there's anything that can be done anyway, um, especially right now. If, if It's one of those ones that you need to know about. You need to keep it way back here in the back of your mind. You know about this now. Will something happen? Mm, probably not. The likelihood of anything, you know, because we can't even get a, a budget or different things. You know, they keep kicking the can down the road. We're talking about another government shutdown on January 20th, okay? They can't even get that. You're telling me that they're going to go back and try and, and ratify all these constitutional rights and, and different amendments to try and strip some sort of military power from a sitting president in a short amount of time? Probably not going to happen. So, but the reason why it's a data point is if this starts picking up steam, there's a telling point. Okay. So, all right. That's all I've got for you guys today. So, I appreciate you guys spending a little bit of your Sunday night with me. I'm going to uh, close this out and I'm going to uh, go eat dinner. It was a pretty busy day for me. Uh, thankfully, the wind has finally died down. So, uh, that's always a good thing. Now, now, the quick announcements that I wanted to do at the very end of this, which, again, if you made it to this part of the video, guess what? You rock. Congratulations. Uh, but I have been putting out, uh, because I've been listening to you guys, on the uh, Wednesday, Workshop Wednesday live streams, I asked what you guys wanted to see. One of you mentioned situational awareness. It really struck with me. And so I put out a video on situational awareness. Uh, that got... 350, 400 views so far out of a couple of days. So I started sitting down and making more of them. So uh, this morning was situational awareness inside the home. Um, I'm not sure when the next one will come out Monday or Tuesday. It will be situational awareness outside of your home. So still on your property, but, you know, outside of your home. And then uh, there'll be some more coming out. So off your property, like in your neighborhood, uh, off your property in your area. And then, you know, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. But uh, that seems to be a pretty hot topic. It, uh, it's got a few shares. So people think it's you know, important enough that they're, they're trying to share it out with others. So I'm, I'm, you know, humbled that my ranting and off the top of my head, because those were not scripted, <laughs> uh, not something then that they, they thought of somebody and said, hey, you need to watch this. So uh, I really appreciate that on uh, all of you guys sharing those stuff out. Uh, I got some more things coming down the pike, some interesting uh, interviews, uh, some other content, some other ones. I do want to make a disclaimer. Um, I have a video coming out this week. I'm not sure exactly Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. Uh, somewhere in that kind of middle of the week. Uh, it's going to have a viewer discretion advised. It's going to have a trigger warning. And I will make sure during the video you will see, hey, if, if you're not down for big boy and big girl talk, then uh, here's your chance to move to the next video. And we will see because it's a 50-50 gamble on what will happen. It's going to be either the worst, most criticized uh, video I have or it, it's going to get some praise and, and we'll do more of them. But uh, We'll see. So, all right, guys, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, do all the fun YouTube things. You know what it is. Um, and besides that, uh, thank you guys again. So, more information to come. So, stay tuned. Remember to remain united because we're all prepping in this together.